Hola, buenas tardes, o buenos días, o... Sí, eso, o buenas noches. Um, welcome to this, the 21st audio and video for uh, Victor's Adventures in uh, Spain. And this is to help you build your vocabulary. Now, we're in the S's, las S's, remember, the letters are feminine, that's why you say las, la S. And um, we're going to start with this word, which is the word for sensible. Okay, now, they have a word called sensible, like sensible, okay, but it's not sensible, it's a false friend, okay? Sensible means sensitive, okay? Sensitive. All right, so just put that one to one side because we've got sensible, which is sensato. Sensato. Okay? So how are you going to remember that? That sensible is sensato. Well, um, if you're um, on a train, the sensible people have sat down, haven't they? You know, if you're going to be there in a place for a long time, well, it would have been sensible to have sat down. So, sensato, the sensible people sit down. Okay. Then, we've got this word, which is always. Always. Okay, and the word is siempre. Siempre. Okay, lovely word, this one. It's just... It just a beautiful shape, I think. Siempre. And how you remember it is this. When you go to a church, okay, you walk into a church, you always see them pray. You always see them pray in a church. You always see them pray in a church. Siempre. Mm -hmm. Okay. Next one is the word without. Okay. Now, can you remember the word with? in prison with a con, yeah? Now the word without is sin. Sin, okay? Just like sin. Mm -hmm. Probably some link there. So how do you remember? Well, it's a sin to go without. It's a sin to go without chocolate. It's a sin to go without whatever, okay? It's a sin to go without. Sin. Okay. And then this one, which is a site, like a, like a site uh, uh, in, on the internet, or a place. A place, okay? And the word is sitio. 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 Okay, so it's got the word sit in it. So imagine there are lots of places that you can sit in. So imagine lots of places and everybody's sitting in all of those places. Sitio. Just sitting in them. Are you sitting in that place? Yes, I'll sit in this place then. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then a couple of words are the same word, but they mean different things, and you'll see why. The first word is alone. Solo. Solo. Okay. Now, alone, solo. We use it. There's a, there was a song out there. I'm going solo. Yeah. Solo. Can you hear how we pronounce it in, in uh, English? Solo. No. Solo. Solo. Okay. So solo is alone. I'm solo. We, we use it all the time. It's quite easy to remember, isn't it? I'm going solo. All right. I tell you a funny story at the end. Well, I tell you now. In fact, um, Cynthia's my wife's um, father, Jose, is one of these kind of guys who who has a very small amount of of English, but he can go anywhere and use it anywhere. He just seems to. He's not. He's not worried. This is the. This is the issue. This is the gift that he has. He has no worry about making an error. He just goes and uses his English. Yeah, so. Um, he was going to go out for a cup of coffee, all right, and uh, with with his with his wife, my mother-in-law, and um, we said, "So what are you going to ask for?" He said, "Easy, easy. 
one coffee alone. One coffee alone. I said one coffee alone. And because in Spanish it's un café solo, which means nothing in it. It's alone because it has nothing in it, yeah? It's just black. It's a black coffee, yeah? But of course he he just transferred it from Spanish into, into English. Un, one coffee alone, okay? So solo is alone. But then the word for only, as in only one, I only have one, or I only want to do this, is the word solo. Mm. Solo. So what's the difference? Did you notice a difference? The second one, the word only, has an accent over the O. And that's the only difference. The only difference between solo and solo is the accent, okay? So when you see the accent, just remember that's the only difference, the only difference, because it means only. Okay, right, so let's do a little test and see how you're doing. First one. I give you the Spanish, you give me the English. Sensato. Sensato. If you were sensible, you would have sat down. So sensato is sensible. All the sensible people have sat down. Okay. Next one. Siempre. Siempre. You always see and pray, always. See and pray in a church. Always is the word, siempre. This one, sin. Sin. It's a sin to go without. So you can have un café con leche, un café sin leche, without milk. Next one, sitio, sitio. What is it? Everybody sitting in these places. Okay, so sitting in a place, sitio, and it's also a site, as in a, a website, mm -hmm. un sitio web, okay? So, last two, now, I'm going to give you them both. You tell me which is which. Okay. Solo. And solo. Which one is which? Well, the first one is alone. That's without the accent. It's alone. It has nothing. It has no accent. The second one is only because the only difference is that it has an accent over the O. So solo, alone. Solo, only. Ok, bien. Muy bien hecho, chicos. Entonces nos vemos en el próximo audio, el próximo video. We'll see you in the next one, número 22. Hasta luego, chicos. Que lo paséis muy bien.